Welcome to the new moon class. Today, we're going to be talking about manifesting money, success, and fame. I also want to talk to you about how to make $10,000 a month today. The Leo new moon is opening up a massive portal, and I think it's just so important that we discuss what this is. The new moon is and is so powerful for manifesting. All right. So everyone grab your notebooks, get everything prepared. We're going to get started. Go to astroseek.com or astro.com. Get your chart ready. Do it right now. Don't hesitate. We're going to get started. Here's the agenda for today. We are going to talk about exactly what you can expect from me today, which is the new moon in Leo. What is it? Why is it important? We're also going to be talking about manifesting using your chart, okay? Manifesting using your chart. That's a huge topic. Next, we're going to talk about following through with your desires. I know a lot of you have a lot of dreams, goals, wishes that you've been wanting to accomplish. This is the right time to get that in order, okay? If you have no clue what you should be manifesting, what you should be asking for, what you should be doing. This is perfect. And this is exactly what you want to be thinking about. Okay, we're going to have a Q&A at the end. And I'll answer your questions. All right. So first things first, pulling up your chart. Go ahead and go to astro.com. This is going to be where you're going to, this is going to be one of the many places that you should go to get your chart. But for today's example, we're going to use astro.com. You're going to need your date of birth. You're going to need your time of birth. You're going to need your location of birth. Type that all in. Make sure that it's correct. Get your chart pulled up. We're going to deep dive into your chart today and understand <clears throat> exactly what you need to know to manifest with Leo. Sip of water. All right. Everyone got their chart pulled up? I hope you do, because we're getting started. We're going to talk about Leo. Leo in astrology has to do with Hercules and the Leo lion. In astrology, in order for Hercules to be accepted by his family, his peers, his father, he needed to slay this lion. It was one of his challenges, one of his tests. All right. That lion, once slayed, was honored by Zeus and created into a constellation. This lion needed to be conquered in order for Hercules to overcome his fear. All right. How many of you are struggling with fear as a content creator, as a business owner, as an employee, as a lover, as a friend? How many of you experience fear? I see many people raising their hands. This is a very important thing. So how do we channel our inner Hercules? This is what we're going to talk about today, all right? Leo is ruled by the sun. So this is, this is exposing everyone's sun sign. If you are into sun sign astrology, this is especially important for you, okay? Leo is ruled by the element of fire, all right. Fire and astrology is very important to understand because once you understand fire, you understand Leo, you understand Aries, you understand Sagittarius because they're all fire signs. All right. The modality for Leo is fixed, which is so important because fixed is amazing. All right. Fixed means consistent. Fixed means follows through. Fixed means disciplined. All right. For any of you who want to embody endurance, stability, Leo is the zodiac sign that represents being a performer. Okay. Being an entertainer. All right. This is how you self-promote. How many of you struggle to self-promote your business? How many of you struggle to uh, talk about what you love most? How many of you struggle to, you know, communicate your desires romantically. This is where Leo comes in, all right? This is where Leo comes in and helps you become and think and feel 
like the communicator. It's important that everyone realize and remember you have all 12 zodiac signs in your chart. And having all 12 zodiac signs in your chart means that you get the opportunity to use this new moon in your life, okay? So you can do this in a simple way just by changing some things in your routine, okay? When you're in the shower, you can sing. When you are per when you're in your house, you can dance, all right? You can post videos on social media. These are all ways to activate and tap into that part of your chart. Now, this is the most important part that you're gonna need in order for us to really move forward, okay? I need all of you to copy down this table. It covers the air, fire, earth, and water signs, okay? This is so important and so helpful because it's gonna help us know exactly what we need to do to manifest also moving forward, okay? This is one of the foundations. Do not skip over this because this part is so important, all right? The zodiac chart. I've created this table for us to understand more easily what it is that we want to be doing with our chart, all right? Now, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius are all fire sign placements, okay? Fire sign placements, what do fire signs do? What does fire mean in astrology? It means to inspire and encourage. That's it. That's all you need to think about. All right. It's that simple for a reason. I really want to make sure that you understand this because fire and astrology relies on inspiration. How many of you struggle with motivation? If you struggle with motivation, inspiration is the only remedy. Okay. If you're struggling to be motivated to start your business, motivated to start your TikTok, motivated to start your creative projects, motivated to uh, improve yourself. That's so important because motivation doesn't last and you shouldn't rely on it, okay? Consistency is what you should rely on because consistency gets you results when you are sad. Consistency gets you results when you are going through things, okay? Inspiring yourself is gonna help you become more consistent. How do we inspire ourselves? The best way I know is to listen to podcasts, listen to music, listen to people that are inspirational, people that uplift, okay? So if your friends aren't doing that, that's a topic. If people aren't encouraging you in your friend circle to do what you love and what scares you, that's a topic, all right? If you're depressed, if you're sad, if you're uh, someone who's like me who does social media coaching and you work with people, you got to have an inspiration source, all right? That is going to come through encouraging other people. Encouraging other people is one of the surefire ways to really tap into your inspiration. Sometimes when I'm feeling very depressed, as an Aries rising Sagittarius moon, one of the things I do is I'll go to the grocery store and I'll encourage the person who's uh, you know helping me with my groceries I'll ask them, hey, what do you what do you actually do? What do you do for art? What do you do for uh, you know personal time? And they'll tell me, oh, I'm a painter. I will in that moment encourage them to keep going, to take it to the next level, and remind them that their art is important. By encouraging that person through the law of reflection, I am encouraging myself. OK, so when you go out into the world and you encourage people to follow their dreams, to do what they love, when you make a video and you say, hey, that thing that you're struggling with, you're so close. That's how you channel fire sign energy. Now let's go on to air. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini are the air signs. OK, the air signs in astrology are the three zodiac signs that share ideas. Okay, if you're someone who's an overthinker, how many of you are overthinkers? Air sign placements, how many of you are overthinkers? If you're an overthinker, guess what? Sharing your ideas is gonna help you so much. Why? It's gonna help other people tell you, hey, this is a really good idea. I think you should go with that. Or I really like this. 
or that idea is trash. Don't do that. Or, hey, I love this idea, but it could use some improvement. Air signs, if you're struggling with overthinking, having someone, anyone, people, a community, a social community, a internet community that you can share your ideas with and communicate, so effective because that overthinking now turns into brainstorming. Isn't that cool? Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't you like to brainstorm with people that already think like you and want your best interest? So amazing. Such a, I would say, such a better way to frame overthinking. The other thing I want to talk to you about real quick is if you're someone who struggles with overthinking, does that mean that you're underdoing? Raise your hand if you are a victim of underdoing overthinking, underdoing. I used to be there a lot. I used to be there so often. I would think about something and I'd be like, but I've never done it before. Or mm, what will these 20 people think about me? Once I started sharing my ideas and communicating over social media, the 20 people that I was afraid of looking stupid in front of, I suddenly had 2000 people that cared. Okay, this is at the beginning of my TikTok journey. 2,000 people for a year. I had 2K followers for a year. And those people were supporting me with, you know, attention. They loved my ideas. I could communicate with them. It was so powerful. All right. Now, where are the earth signs at? Let's move on to earth. Earth signs. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. How do you use your earth signs? You manifest, you manifest, you manifest, meaning you bring things from ideas into reality. So earth signs and air signs, low key besties. Why? Once an air sign shares their ideas, the earth sign is going to put it in a plan. What's the fire sign going to do? Encourage that plan, encourage doing that thing. All right. Is everyone starting to understand how to really use astrology? This is really cool. This is really dynamic ideas, okay? Because now you get to use your planets. Now you're now it's not you being a Virgo and overthinking. It's, oh, I'm a Virgo and I am a manifester. Okay, that's a huge difference. All right, that's so much more powerful, okay? And when you're when you manifest, this helps you feel productive. All right? How many of you fall victim to being busy? How many of you are busy? Busy is a very dangerous thing to be. Busy is for the bees, all right? Productive is for the producers. Producers make money. Producers make a change in this world. Producers have a lot of people that they can rely on and that people rely on them, all right? This is how you start to attract more money. Those of you who want to hit 10k a month, how many of you want to hit 10k a month from your passion? How many of you want to hit 10k a month from your passion? I can tell you right now, the best way to do that is by manifesting in a productive way, which I'm going to show you in the later parts of this presentation. All right? Water signs. Water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The way you manifest, the way you use your astrology. And this, this works if you have a water sign Mars. This works if you have a water sign North Node. This works if you have a water sign Sun. This works if you have a water sign Chiron, okay? You can use water in any way, wherever it is in your chart. Everyone raise your hand if you understood that. You can use any part of your chart at any time. And you should. I want you to. I think you really should, okay? Cancer is a water sign. Scorpio, water sign. Pisces, water sign. This is where you draw in your intuition. And I want to break down intuition really quickly for you. Your intuition is your inner payment to yourself. Tuition. How many of you went to a, a college or a private school or something where you have to pay tuition? I did. I went to a college. I went to a private school for a few years. I had to pay tuition. Intuition means you are paying attention to your inner vessel. Intuition, 
when you get an idea, oh, maybe I should start a YouTube channel. Oh, maybe I should go for a walk. Oh, maybe I should text this person. That's a download, baby. That's the intuition. That's the intuition speaking to you, giving you insight, giving you wisdom. All right. That's what water signs do. All right. Water sign, wherever it is in your chart, that's where your expression is going to come through also. Expressing yourself is so healthy. How many of you go to therapy? How many of you go to therapy? I know I went to therapy for years because I struggled to express myself because I'm a Pisces. I didn't know how to express myself because I grew up with a Sag. A Sagittarius only knows how to encourage and inspire. Expressing themselves comes through doing that. So when I learned it, I had to learn it from another place. All right. And this is so powerful because water signs need to express themselves. Even if you have one water placement, this is an invitation to express yourself, to use your intuition. How many of you are understanding now how to use all 12 zodiac signs? Because that is exactly what you should be doing. To use all 12 zodiac signs, that is everything I just told you. You could use that right now and manifest $10,000, I promise. And I know this because I did it. Okay, I know this because I did it. This is so powerful. Okay, cardinal signs, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. How do you manifest? By starting, not by waiting. You master your initiation, you master your life. If you have Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer in your chart, raise your hand. The way you manifest is by starting, not by thinking. You manifest by doing, not by thinking. You manifest by starting. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, the way you manifest is by being consistent. If that's something you struggle with, raise your hand. Because I promise you, by the end of this presentation, you will understand more clearly how to be consistent. When you are consistent, the universe will bless you with the things that you ask for, all right? The more consistent you are, even if it's tiny things like brushing your teeth, fixing your bed, keeping your house clean, paying your bills on time, those things add up into your abundance mindset. It adds up into your manifestations. Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, the more willing you are to change, the more you manifest. How many of you have mutable placements? Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. If you have that in your chart, the more you are willing to change, the more you manifest, okay? If you are someone who wants to really take it to the next level, this is astrology, all right? So let's talk about manifestation. Manifestation means to create something or turn it from an idea into reality. How many of you have manifested something before? How many of you have manifested something before? I've manifested, my first time manifesting, if you've read my book, my ebook that I just dropped a few days ago, last week, excuse me, the first time I manifested was a yo-yo. My mom didn't want to buy me a yo-yo because I didn't need it, honestly. I wanted it, so I manifested it. I thought about the yo-yo so hard that I ended up going to my mom's friend's house and my mom's friend just so happened to need me to clean their yard. And I got the $10 that I needed to buy the yo-yo that I wanted. That was a manifestation. But guess what? What did I have to do to get the yo-yo? I had to put in work, baby. That's so important. I know a lot of astrology TikTok, spiritual TikTok on social media, they, they tell you, oh, write this thing down and it'll happen. False. You got to take aligned action. You got to also add in physical effort. You got to also be disciplined. You got to know every single day, if you want rock hard, solid abs, you probably got to work your abs every day. Not that that's healthy but you got to have a consistent schedule, okay? Very important. Someone asked me, I have different signs and modalities in my chart. Which manifestation should I pay attention to the most? All of them. 
you need to be a well-rounded person, which means that you need to be using all parts of your chart. I'm going to give it to you straight. You got to use all parts. If you want to really manifest, you got to use every single bit of your chart. You can't just rely on one, okay? You can't just rely on two. You got to do all of them. You got to inspire, encourage, manifest, be productive, share ideas, communicate, express, and trust your intuition, and lead, and be consistent, and be adaptable. Yes, you can do all of them, and you should. Am I being clear? Everyone raise, their, raise your hand if I'm being very clear, all right? To be a well-rounded person, you want to touch on all of it, okay? All right, I'm getting super excited. I get so hyped talking about astrology sometimes. It's crazy. All right, so the full moon in Leo, this is where you really want to grab your notepad, okay? The time to manifest tomorrow is July 28th at 1.55 p.m. EDT. This is the 30-minute window before and after. So you want to start writing at, if you live in Eastern Daylight Time, EDT, you want to start writing at 1.25. What do you want to write? We'll get there in a second, okay? You want to start 30 minutes before the new moon crosses the sun. All right. And you can go 30 minutes after. Okay. I told you in a few videos on social media, the best thing I recommend is have your list ready so that you can copy it during the Kazemi. Kazemi meaning when the moon and the sun cross each other for the lucky point. This is really good because now you're prepared. Okay. That's so important. Who should, who, who should manifest? Who should manifest? Raise your hand if you want to manifest. Because if you are someone who wants to start a business, if you're someone who wants to uh, find your special person, if you're someone who wants to make personal growth, if you're someone who wants to enter your purpose and look for a new direction, leave a job, get a pet, get into a, uh, if you want to turn into a nomad and travel the country, the world, this is the right time. This is the new moon to do it. This is the right one, okay? This is the right one. Now, finding Leo in your chart. I know some of you haven't quite done it yet, so let's go through that part real quick so that we can really understand Leo in the chart. How many of you have Leo in your chart and you know exactly where it is? There's 75 people in the room. I love all of you, by the way, so much. I'm so excited you're here. I'm so excited to talk to you. How many of you know where Leo is in your chart? Okay, everyone has it. Look for the Leo symbol. The Leo symbol right here for you. Now, look at the house where Leo is. So for example, in Jasmine's chart here, Leo's in the ninth house. What does that mean? What does that mean? Leo represents expression. Leo represents entertainment. Leo represents encouraging, inspiring. It represents consistency. What does Leo in the ninth house mean? So important, right? If we know Leo's in the ninth house, I know you can see there's so many things going on in this chart, right? Isn't it ridiculous? Raise your hand at this, all this, all this astrology, all these symbols, all these things, crazy, right? So much going on. All you got to do is find Leo, this symbol, and then figure out what number is associated. This is the first step. This is why it's so important, because I want to show you how to manifest, Okay how to manifest and reading your chart very different. You don't need to necessarily know how to read your chart to manifest. Manifesting using the house that Leo is in, all right? Leo's in your ninth house, which means, I'm just checking my script real quick to make sure that I'm on schedule. I'm here to, I wanna make sure that we're on time with everything, all right? This new moon is gonna be ideal, by the way, 
I wanted to say that real quick. This new moon is going to be ideal for manifesting money, for manifesting success, for manifesting your business, for manifesting 100,000 followers, 200,000 followers, 10,000 followers. This is the right time. Anyone who's trying to start a business, anyone who's trying to seek that special person, this is that time. This is that time. Figure out where Leo is in your chart. If it's in the ninth house, this is an example of how it will manifest. I want to show you how to do it. So this chart is a chart you want to find. I want you to figure out what house you have Leo in. And I don't want you to look at just the first two words, everyone, okay? I want you to write down every single word you see in the house. Raise your hand if you heard me. I want you to write down every single word in the house. Don't skip any of them. Don't skip one. Don't just write down three, okay? I want you to write down every single thing you see in the house because Leo in the ninth house will manifest as travel, wisdom, philosophy, higher education, law and religion, cross-cultural relations learning, ethics, Leo will manifest as everything in that house. Don't skip any of them because if you do, you're missing out on the manifestation. You're missing some of it. Don't do that to yourself. Don't rob yourself. Don't be lazy, please. I want you all to have a great new moon. Keep everything that you see on that piece of paper so what we're going to do is record the manifestations we want to do this by hand all right we want to do this by hand step one write down your 10 desires if you don't have 10 desires write down everything in the house okay so if you have a if you if your vision if your goal is to manifest ten thousand dollars you want the most attractive partner who's loyal to you and only you obsessed with you makes you pancakes every sunday boom that's one and two now you have eight other topics from your chart that you can pull and rely on to manifest at what time 1 55 p.m edt 30 minutes before and after yep exactly so what you want to do is write down step one your 10 desires step two write each of those desires 10 times totaling 100 yes your wrist will hurt after but we will be on a beach in a remote country drinking virgin pina coladas that's more important okay manifesting your dreams needs time and space all right manifesting isn't an overnight thing we can't just write someone's name down, put it under a pillow and expect this person to commit to us for the rest of their life. That's not how it works. What we want to do is we want to write down our manifestations, write them down 10 times, and then write them down for the next 10 days. Because why? You need to program your mind into taking action and this is called self-concept. This is called law of attraction. How many of you heard of this? Law of assumption, law of attraction, self-concept. Have you read The Secret? Have you heard of um, quantum shifting? This is quantum shifting. Now we're using astrology to make it a reality. That is manifestation, all right? So powerful. How many of you are loving the class so far? Or do I sound like a crazy person? Y'all love it? Okay, cool. I fuck with you. All right. Step four, follow through. Follow through. If you say you're going to start your website for your business, babe, start the website. Grab the Shopify store. Get the free trial. Go to Squarespace. Register your account. Start it. Do it. If, if your manifestation is to do something online, register if your manifestation is to attract a partner that you want that wants you become that partner become that person 
because then you're going to attract them. If you, if you have a bad pattern of relationships, raise your hand if you've had bad relationships in the past. Terrible relationships. Unspeakable things happen. Things that you are embarrassed to talk about. If that's you, write down your desire to have that healthy connection with yourself, with the opposite gender, with the same gender. Write down that manifestation as your desire 10 times and then 10 times after the Kazemi. I promise you, you're going to program your mind into doing that thing. Okay? You got to give your body instructions. If you don't give your body instructions, guess who's giving your body instructions? Bill Gates. No, I'm just kidding. Really, though. Who's giving you instructions if you're not giving yourself instructions? All right. I want you all to be giving yourself instructions because that's going to help you manifest. All right. So. Next, how someone said, how direct should you be with your manifestations? Hella direct, hella direct. You should be hella direct. All right. Be very clear be extremely clear. All right. Be extremely clear. Do you write them down beforehand? You write them down 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after. All right, y'all. 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after. Here are some examples of manifesting using the house that Leo's in. I know some of you are talking about, hey, what if I have planets in there? Hey, what if I have this going on in there? We'll talk about that in a second. You need to master this part, though. Mastering this part is going to make the whole thing make sense. Because when you start adding planets and you start adding points, if you don't have the basics, you're going to fuck up the whole jam. All right? How many of you are ready to just master the basics? Because that's what I do. I don't add anything. I just do the basics, and it works every time. When you start adding planets, when you start adding other things, it, that's not what we're doing here. Don't complicate something that you are just learning, okay? Let's keep it simple because simple is good. Examples of manifesting with the ninth house. I will travel to Manchester by the end of the year. Why are we saying that? Because the ninth house has to do with travel. It's very simple. Number two, I will connect my elders and learn about my family lineage. Why? because wisdom is a part of the ninth house. I will identify my purpose. Why? Because philosophy is in the ninth house. Number four, I will learn to, I will learn about nonprofit organizational structures, higher education, because it's in the ninth house. I will find a new godfather and godmother. This is a religious thing that is in the ninth house. I will learn to listen to my dreams. That is your own religion that falls into the ninth house. I will learn to interpret the messages and warnings before they come. This is religious. This is intuition. This is falling into the ninth house. I will connect with people and hear their stories. This is the ninth house because it is cross-cultural communications. All right? I will share my knowledge with others learning. This is in the ninth house. I will humble myself and listen more. This is ethics. This falls into the ninth house. Is this making sense to anyone? Is anyone connecting with this? Is this making sense to y'all? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it very simple. Someone said, do our desires have to stick with what you listed for the Leo house? Pick the house where you have Leo. It's different for every soul. Every soul operates on a different timeline, but we're all interconnected. So you want to figure out what house you have Leo in. How many of you were able to figure out what house you have Leo in and understand what we were talking about? All right. Perfect. The majority of people. Perfect. You're doing so good. I'm so excited. All right. Rowena asks, can we manifest more than 10 things? I don't suggest going over 10. 
if you need over 10 things, I'm going to call you greedy. I'm going to call you, uh, what's the word? 10 is abundance. If you need more than 10 things right now, your focus is going to get scattered. You're not going to be able to focus on the things that you do want to manifest. Let's just say you make a list of 23 things. Now you have to write 230 times. Are you sustainably going to be able to do that for the next 10 days? I'm guessing not. I'm going to be clear. Do 10. Start with 10. Make sure they're a juicy 10. Make sure they're a really powerful 10 so that you can really get those 10 things in the next six months while this new moon is really shaping itself in your life. All right. Does everyone understand this? Cool. So next, um, and we're a little bit early on time. This is amazing. We're going to have a lot of space for questions. All right. So following through, being consistent. This is a topic, right? How many of you struggle with being consistent? How many of you struggle with being disciplined? How many of you struggle with trusting the process? How many? Be honest. It's okay. How many people struggle with it? It's not a bad thing. We are all actively learning how to make it better, okay? In astrology, there's 12 houses. Each house covers a different area of your life, okay? When you look into the different house in your chart during the different seasons, this is gonna give you the impression, the attitude, this is going to give you the self-respect, the authority to manage, manage your consistency, manage your discipline, manage trust. How many of you struggle with these topics? Because we need to really body it, all right? How do we body it? Well, the first thing is, there are times when you're manifesting where you'll say, my manifestation is not working. How many of you have experienced your manifestation not working? How many of you have tried to manifest your ex back? I make fun of people who do that shit all the time. I'm an Aries Venus. Why would I go backwards? <laughs> But also, how many of you have tried to manifest more money? How many of you have tried to manifest more money? If you've tried to manifest more money and you are working the same job and you're an air sign placement and you haven't talked to your boss, your manager about giving you a raise, how are you going to manifest money? If your internal dialogue isn't I am worth more than I am receiving, how are you going to manifest more money? You got to put in the work. You got to be more consistent, okay? As I stated in the beginning of the class, you need effort to make your manifestations work. You got to be disciplined. You got to have an I can win mindset. This is so important because discipline and consistency are the key. Raise your hand if you agree with me. Discipline and consistency are the key. Having people around you in your life, coaching you, guiding you, supporting you to be consistent and motivated and disciplined will help you get what you want. How many of you know someone? How many of you know someone? who is not talented, who is not gifted, but they are consistent and they are disciplined and that helps them do their life. How many of you know that person who just every day they do that thing, every day they do that thing that they do, every day and they're disciplined and they're consistent and they get what they want. How many of you people know that person? This is the invitation to become that person. I, when I first started my journey, was not that guy. I was not that guy. I was heavily unreliable, heavily not consistent. 
I had to become consistent through being coached. I had to be coached. Last year, coaching saved me. What happens if you don't follow through on your manifestations, y'all? Do you know? Do you know? Right now in the US, there is an extremely turbulent situation going on with money. There is an extremely turbulent situation going on with housing, with food, okay, with basic things, all right? Wages and opportunities and traditional ways of making money are disappearing since COVID. People are working from home. People are working from their phone. The world is changing. How many of you are seeing that? How many of you are seeing the world changing before your very eyes? The things that were so normal are completely different. Traditional corporate workforce, stagnant right now. Manifestation is a great way to make sure that you have the emotional stability and stability is the key word here. The emotional stability. How many of you would like to be stable? Stable. How many of you want that? Yeah, 100%. So let's talk about it. This is how I can help you. I help people overcome inconsistencies, fear, and money blockages. My readings, I help people give, I give people immediate directions. My readings are normally $111. I also do group coachings. Group coachings like this, where we hop into a room together and we guide each other, we support each other, and you have a community of people who are doing what you're doing. How many of you would love to have a group of people who support you doing things that you like doing, that you like doing, and they like doing? This is a very mutual scenario. How many of you would love that? All right, because I offer that. That's how I help people, okay? The last way I help people is one-on-one -on -one coaching. One-on-one -on -one coaching is what I'm known best for. It's what I've done the most of. Last year, what I manifested was to become a top-tier coach. Top-tier coach. I had to do some work to become this person. I had to get coached. I had four coaches last year, four separate people pour their wisdom, knowledge, skills set into me. This is what you're seeing today. I created myself based off of those experiences. How many of you have been coached before? How many of you have played a high school sport? You were coached. How many of you had a, uh, when you were in school, you had a tutor? How many of you had a student teacher? How many of you had a kid in class help you with your homework? How many of you did study groups? How many of you do other things with other people where you can grow? That is so important because if you feel like you have to do things alone, you're wrong. You don't have to. It's actually not healthy. It's called hyper independence. Hyper independence is not healthy. Doing everything alone, staying stuck in your head, being inconsistent, being fearful, having money blockages. This is what happens when you isolate yourself from yourself. This is why it's so important to be well-rounded. This is why I said it's so important to manifest with all of your chart. Remember, everyone raise your hand if you remember me saying that. Be well-rounded and manifest with all parts of your chart. That's so important, okay? Because my one-on-one -on -one coaching, what I do for people is I work with influencers. I work with business owners. I, last year, I worked with Kehlani. Kehlani I read for them twice last year. One of the times that I read for Kehlani, I helped them plan their album, the day, the time, the style. We did that. It was amazing. Such an, a beautiful experience, okay? Who else have I worked with? I've worked with people that you follow on social media. I've worked behind the scenes and coached people that read tarot for you. 
some of the top terror people who have some of the terror readers i won't even say their names they have 1.6 2 million followers half a million followers i've coached them okay i'm very good at getting results all right i will help you design your content how many of you want to make content i will help you design that i will make the content for you i will give you instructions on what to film what hashtags to use how to reach your target audience how many of you want to make internet money how many of you want to make money from your phone how many of you want to make money from your phone instead of getting up going to work and doing things you don't like i will teach you how to do something called a kickoff strategy which is having a strategy that's going to give you exactly what you need to know to post what to do what to talk about okay I'm also, I offer people one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions where I help them actually do that thing. So if you need, if how many of you want to make TikToks, but you literally just don't know how to make those TikToks? You know, the ones I'm talking about, the ones that like, you like watching. How many of you want to learn that? Because that's what I do with people is I sit down with them and I design videos with them. Okay. And I also give them support. So this is, these are my current prices. Usually for my readings, it's $111. My group coaching is $497 on average. And my coaching one-on-one -on -one is $3,000 for three months. But because you are serious, how many of you are serious? Because I feel like a lot of you are serious about your craft. I am too. I am too. These are just some people that I've helped. These are some people that I've helped this year. I took Rita from a thousand followers to 14.9K in one day. We did it in one day. The moment we had our call, one day later, Rita is TikTok famous. Crazy. I designed the post that went viral. Okay. I designed it for her and she took the action. She took the action. How many of you would love to take action and get that kind of result? Rita's a special case though. Rita works her ass off. Rita is a master manifester. Rita reads every day. She wakes up consistently at the same time and does her stuff. Okay. How many of you know Madison? I was helping Madison. Okay. We took Madison's views and we brought them up. If you go check out, check out Madison's page now, Madison is getting hella views consistently. Hella views. Madison has 100,000 followers, but getting only two, four, 3,000 views. It didn't make sense. So I came in and brought knowledge. I came in and brought solutions. All right. So powerful. Okay, who else have I helped? Look, this is Rita again. Rita's sitting at 4.9. We were able to take this account from 1,000 to 14,000. How many of you want that? How many of you want to have a social media platform of people who like you? You, they like you. They show up for you. When you go online and you see people commenting, they're there for you. They want to pay you. They want to give money to you. All right. This is how we can recreate ourselves. This is how we can do things. So this is a special offer. I showed it a little bit too early. Um, how many of you want to get a special price? I want to give you a special price because it's a new moon. I fuck with all of you. Heavy. I really want you to change your life. I really want you to leave that job that you don't like so you can do what you love. I really crave that so deeply because I, when y'all are in my comment section talking about how life is not going great, it kills me inside because you're following me and I feel like I'm not helping you. And it, it makes, it puts this weird pressure on me and I have to release, I have to release it. The only way I can release it is to give you my knowledge how I can help you today. This is a special offer. 
This offer is going to close Saturday morning. Okay. Saturday morning until Saturday morning, my readings are going to be $55 half off instead of 111 readings are 55 bucks. All right. That's the lowest tier. If you want the group coaching, instead of 497, I'm going to do it for $197. Okay. Why am I doing this for you? Because I want you to change your life. I want to show you off. Like I'm showing off Rita and Maddie. I want to show you off. I want to show other people that this is possible. Last year, I was homeless, bro. I know some of you have heard this story. I was homeless. It was terrible. In Minnesota, being homeless is not the move, okay? I wish I had someone who could show me how to get out of homelessness, but I had to tough it. I had to sleep in my mentor's office for three months and tough it. It sucked, but if it didn't happen, I wouldn't have found the tenacity and the discipline and the consistency. And I wanna recreate that for you with one-on-one -on -one coaching. Instead of what I was offering, the $3,300, i am going to do it for $777 a month. Now, remember, I get results on my own personal account, and I'm doing it for other people. So if you're wondering, oh, is this worth it? Raise your hand if you see this value. Raise your hand if you see the value that I'm giving you. You having people that fuck with you that want to give you money, thousands of people compared to the hundreds of dollars that you're spending. Really think about that because these people will rock with you for years. You can make 55, 100, $700. You can make that in, a, in <laughs> with what I'm teaching you. You can make that back very quickly. I don't want to say how fast because everyone works very differently. And I can only promise true results to the people who work hard. Okay, so for this next few days, 48 hours, there's a new moon. The new moon is a great time to start something new. It's a great time to start something that you believe in. I want to I wanna give you something that I believe in, which is me. I believe in myself. I know I can help you. I know that I can bring you to that next step, especially if you have inconsistency, fear, and money blocks. Those are the things that I struggled with for seven years with my business. I wouldn't post a video. I didn't talk about my offers. I didn't talk about any of the stuff I was giving because I was scared. I was fearful. I knew I couldn't show up for people. I knew I had blocks. Once I got coached, those things turned into courage those things turned into consistency those things turned into money coming in not to brag earlier this year i was put in an article for being a spiritual tiktok creator and it's really thanks to my platform my people that really rock with me okay now of course i post like almost 10 times a day i'm never going to ask you to do that but I work really hard to serve my community. And the more you give, the more you get. Raise your hand if you understand that. The more you give, the more you get. All right? The more you put into your platform, the more you put into your self-development, the more you put into learning your chart, the better. Because now the world is going to see you as ready. How many of you want to be ready? How many of you are ready? How many of you are ready? All right. Now, what I want to do is we're going to tap into the Q&A. Uh, I'm going to let some people in here. Uh, I'm really grateful for all of you. Um, who has a question? Who has a question? I really want to tap in with all of you. I'm going to clear out the questions thing here real quick. This, this was like the most exciting presentation I've ever done, bro. Like, I this is why I love Leo season so much. You just get to like really just unleash your true feelings. I almost cried earlier. Um, Y'all almost had me crying the other day. 
I, people always ask me how I get into astrology. And I think I shared with a lot of you, I got into astrology because of my younger brother. Um, and that's his, his death sparked my curiosity to understand, first of all, him, because I didn't get to experience him in the way that I imagined, but also it opened another door for me to understand and express and I know other people as well, okay? So N-O-U, no, I actually emailed you a follow-up email. If you didn't get it, I'm going to send it to you again right now so that you can book with me. Anytime that uh, that happens, I send out an email right after to reschedule. If you didn't get that, that's my fault completely. I'm going to send that to you right now. All right. And I'm going to take some other questions. How direct should we be with the manifestations? Extremely direct. Extremely direct. Extremely direct. Can you tell us how to manifest daily with our moon sign, please, Sunny? Yes, I absolutely will. Manifesting with your moon sign is very easy. First of all, you need to figure out where on the chart that we looked at earlier is your moon sign. What house is it in? Wherever your moon sign is, whatever element and modality is exactly what you want to be doing to manifest with your moon sign. So for example, if you have a Leo moon in the fifth house, you need to encourage people and yourself. You need to inspire people in yourself. Your moon sign represents your intuition. So anything that comes into your body, thoughts, feelings, ideas, you need to act on those. Not think about them, not write them down and never do them, act on them. Raise your hand if you're hearing me. You need to take action on your intuition. If you want to manifest with your moon sign, you have to do something. You can't just exist. No, that's not how it works. You have to take action on that moon sign and what it wants to do. If you have a Scorpio moon, it's water sign, right? You need to express yourself. Scorpio moons need to express themselves. They're not secretive because they want to be. They're secretive because people don't trust themselves and they don't trust people. But the more you express yourself, the more your intuition gets better at finding the right people. Now, when you figure out the house, then you want to go through not the three top meanings of the house, but remember we looked at every single house earlier? There's multiple meanings in every single house, remember? Yes or no? Is there multiple meanings to every house? Yes or no? Yes, exactly. So we want to use every single one. All right. Madeline J says, I have Leo in the eighth house and I'm not quite sure what merging means. Merging means coming together, bonding, connecting with people, with yourself, with your existence, um, trauma bonding. When you talk to someone about something painful, when you share something with someone, that's merging. Everyone understand that? Merging, eighth house, merging. Also remember Madeline, there's multiple meanings to the eighth house so it's not just merging it's everything else in there too it's don't skip any of it include all of it all right that's the big piece there sean says can you discuss fame in the chart 100 percent. fame comes through taking action if you want to be famous the best way to do it in 2022 is to post on TikTok or on social media. What do you post? Your music, your clothes, your fashion, your thoughts, your ideas. Is this making sense? You want to talk about the things that you love. If you have Leo in your chart, this is what you want to use, especially. And guess what? Everyone has Leo in their chart. So what do you want to talk about? You inspire and encourage people in the areas that you want to. 
okay? I, for example, have a Chiron Leo, which means that how I heal myself and others is by making art. Lee, Chiron happens to be one of the, if you, wherever you have your Chiron is where you have the greatest wound in your chart. For me, my biggest wound for the longest time was making videos, making art, making music. Now I actively make a lot of videos. I make a lot of art and I like, I make a lot of creative things. Why do I do this? Because it heals me because that's what Chiron does. Do what Chiron does to heal yourself. Secondly, when you have goals to be famous, you gotta take action on serving your community. You have to give the people that will make you famous something. Is that making sense? Frank Ocean wouldn't be fake. He wouldn't be Frank Ocean if he never gave his music. Is that making sense to anybody? If Frank Ocean never gave us music, he would never be famous. Is that clear? Only 10 people are saying, yeah. Is that clear? There we go, that makes sense. Gotta give your art, express, encourage, inspire. Is everyone, is everyone understanding? Is this landing with anyone? Okay. Now, Sean, you asked a great question. This is why I have the coaching program because I wanna show you how to do it in a proven way, in a way that I can show you. I wanna show you how to do it for you because everyone's case is a little bit different, all right? And this is why I'm offering these services. Um, Medea says, I have a lot of Leo placements. I have Leo sun conjunct Mercury in the eighth house. How can I use it? I also have my sun, moon, Mercury, Saturn, all in Leo in the eighth house. You need to express yourself. You need to inspire other people. You need to be extremely loud about that. If you have that placement and you're not extremely vocal about your creativity, about sex, about merging about investments about eighth house topics that is why you're not manifesting is that clear is that landing is that making sense to everyone if you aren't doing the action of the zodiac sign you're not getting the energy that that energy uh, that that zodiac sign offers okay i don't have leo placements but i post every single day i shared a new song today a song that I've never released before. I had to share it today because if I don't, I'm not expressing myself. Am I being super clear, everyone? If you don't express yourself, if you don't encourage, if you don't um, inspire people, that's why you're not using the placement, okay? Um, I'm gonna do my best to filter through um, a little bit better. So someone says, does having my North Node Mercury Venus in my 11th house change anything in terms of what I can manifest. Also, I'm sorry with the loss of your brother. It's amazing you're able to tap into his chart. I'm grateful for him, Martin. Thank you for the question. Also, I'm grateful for my brother, Matthew. He changed and propelled my entire life in a very unique direction I never expected. Um, and I'm so, I'm so grateful and happy that I was able to meet him period, because if I think that would have hurt more if I had never even met him. So how do you manifest with your North Node, Mercury, Venus in the 11th house? The 11th house is the social media house. If you want to know if you're going to be great on social media, look at your 11th house. You don't even need planets in there. But if you do have planets in your 11th house, this is an almost surefire guarantee that with aligned action, strategies, tools, and coaching, you can easily become famous. You can easily become successful. You can easily become aligned, disciplined, and really tune into your powers, okay? How do you manifest with North Node, Mercury, Venus? We wanna figure out what does North Node mean? It means it's your purpose. You gotta put all your energy into your purpose. What does Venus mean? Venus has to do with attracting. You need to put 
all your time and energy into learning the law of attraction. If you don't know it and you're not using it, you're wasting the Venus sign. Your Mercury is there as well, which means that you need to study and spend money on becoming a better communicator. Okay. This is why I offer my services is because these are the things that are so important to manifesting. Okay. Being a good communicator, understanding your purpose, understanding your Venus. I know the astrology. So if you, if you didn't, if, if you didn't trust the, if you didn't trust the results I was getting with Maddie and Rita, guess what? I know your chart. How many of you know I can help you? How many of you know in your heart I can help you? I'm excited to. I'll just say that, okay? I'm excited to. Any tips for Leo in the 12th house? Yes. You got to express yourself when you're alone. You got to express yourself when you're alone because that's where your true self comes out. When people really want to get close to you, when you want to really manifest, you got to do it with yourself first. Great question. Cami says, my chart says I have Leo in the first and the second house. Is that possible? Guess what? In a Placidus chart, yes. When you have Leo anywhere in your chart, the constellation is very big. It can sometimes go into another house. What do you do when that's going on? Focus on the house where it is taking up the most space. So if you have Leo in the first house, only focus on the first house. Once you understand the first house, then you can add in the money, the resources, the stability aspect that comes with the second house. But you need to know that it's primarily right hand, primary hand, first house, second hand, secondary, second house. Does that make sense, everyone? Because I know some of you have that where you have your charts kind of, you know, a little wonky looking. It's, you know, zodiacs are taking up more space than they should. That's normal. It's completely normal. That doesn't mean that it's a cusp. That's not what that means. It means that you have the privilege to use your Leo rising to help your appearance, but also to manifest and attract money. All right, super great question. All right, there's hella questions. I'm gonna take some more random ones. We've got 15 minutes. I wanted to have a couple people come up on stage. So I'm gonna pick someone at random here. Um, let's see. Raise your hand if you would like to come up on stage. Um, I wanna bring one to three people up. Um, and really help you. All right. So I see Shay Millie. Wait, how do I say your name? Shamli. Shamli? Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here. Thank you. What's your question? Um, so I'm a little starstruck. Sorry. Uh, I'm a projector in human design, mm -hmm. but I have like an Aries stellium and my cancer rising. So how am I supposed to like start initiating stuff when I'm being told I'm not supposed to? Sorry. No, you're good. So I do know human design. I don't teach it yet because I'm, I haven't mastered it. Mm -hmm. um, but I do know I'm at like 83%, I would say. Projectors, you're supposed to wait for an invitation, right? What is an invitation to you? Because an invitation to, from the person that I'm learning human design from, the way you initiate is if someone tells you, how do I say your name again, please? Shamli. Shamli? Yeah. Shamli, if I tell you, Shamli, I need help understanding 
human design. Mm -hmm. If I say that next to you, I don't say it at you. The invitation for a projector is, oh, someone needs help. Oh. It's not someone coming up and giving you a formal letter saying, I, I need you. No, it is someone needs help and they just beckoned. Someone just, someone in my vicinity asked for something and I have that. Oh. Clear? Yeah, thank you so much. You're super welcome. The Aries inside of you, that's where you start taking action, literally. It's such a good experience. Such a good question. Such a good question. Kita, what's going on? Hey, so um, I'm actually in your um, Discord. I'm Samira on the day of it. You're in the um, Discord? Is everyone else yeah. in the Discord yet? <laughs> How do you like the Discord? I love it. I love it. I get a lot of questions answered, you know, that I yeah. wouldn't even thought of because other people are kind of working off of each other. There's, so hella, there's hella people <laughs> in there. It's so cool. Yeah, super cool. So my question was, um, I have Leo in my third house. I have like some ideas based on what's in the third house, but I know siblings is one of them. And so I was just trying to figure out how to draw off of off of that with Leo being in my third house. Why is that important? If, hold well, on, let me ask the question more completely. Okay. Out, out of everything in the third house, why is siblings the one thing you're targeting? Well, not necessarily that I'm targeting, but I know you mentioned for us to work on everything in the third house yeah. that's in there. Yeah. And that's the only thing that I was kind of clueless on how to, you know, manifest, you know, in you you know, regards to that. Yeah, I do have, I do have siblings. Do you talk I have, to them? I, I talk to my bro brother pretty regularly. I don't talk to my sister hardly ever. She's in Maryland right now. We used to be closer, but we're not as close as we used to be. Okay. Well, when you, siblings can be blood related or non-blood. Okay. So your question is, I just want to get it one more time. Sure. Just basically how to fully manifest within my third house and then how to incorporate siblings within that. So you'd write down every single thing in the third house, okay? right? That's about eight to 10 things okay. you go through. And if siblings is the thing that you want to talk about out of the other things too, mm -hmm. you want to manifest a better relationship with everything in the house. Okay. Every single thing in the house, you want to have a better relationship with. So if you have one sibling that's cool, and one sibling that's not, repairing that other relationship, even if you try to repair it, the universe is gonna say, you know what, you're working with the third house, you tried your best, we're gonna bring you a best friend that's gonna help bring that same energy as the sister that you don't have. Mm, okay. You feel me? Yes, yes. Also, the third house covers so many beautiful things around communication. So it's such a great house to manifest with anyways. Yes. Yes. I was thinking that it could really help me with my, my social media because you don't want communication. In my I can life. help you with your social media. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let yeah, me I was, know. I was, yeah, I was actually looking at that. So yeah, I would want to be communicating with you about that, actually. Absolutely. I would love to help you get your first 10K. I average yeah. right now, my students are averaging 10K followers in 30 days. Wow. It's amazing. It's so cool. It's so wow. fun to watch people go to the next level. Um, awesome. In a few seconds, if y'all want, I can show you a highlight reel of my students. I love showing them off. I would love to yes. add you to my students. Yeah. So we with your like with your group coaching, uh -huh. does um, that come with um, instruction on how to grow your social media as well? Absolutely. I would be failing. Okay. you. I would be completely I would not be doing any of my work if I was not helping you with your social platform. Um, okay. I'm going to give you in that group class, you're going to get uh, I have this course that I created. Everyone who's gone through that course and did everything I said in the first 30 days mm -hmm. has hit 10K. Wow. Wow. 
And if you don't, if you do everything I say in that class and you don't hit our numbers, if you don't grow, I'll give you your money back. I don't even want it. If you do everything I say and it doesn't work, I'll give you your money back because I don't want it. At that point, I'm lying to you. And that's right. never happened. It's never happened. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. So yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited too. Great question, <laughs> Stephanie. What's popping? Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so I'm kind of new to all of this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I I did have some few questions. You only um, get one. <laughs> oh yeah. <Okay. laughs> um, I just like. I really want to step into like my purpose and it's so crazy how like your example so like my Leo is in my ninth house and it's also my moon oh wow so it's like kind of crazy that that the example you use exactly like what I kind of needed of but you also mentioned that like your north node is like your purpose yeah and like so my north node is in cancer mm -hmm. it's also my eighth house mm -hmm. so what does that signify like how can that give me direction and like what it is I need to do and like as you know my purpose north node in astrology is your purpose yes when it's in zodiac sign cancer what is cancer i go go to your notes what is cancer what does cancer do in, intuitive yes expression. yes and what else um leads yes, <laughs> yes. so you need to lead with what with my inner vessel, my inner voice, my intuition. What is the words I gave you, babe? <laughs> you need to lead with what? My inner voice. Intuition. My intuition. You need okay. to lead with what? Your expression. Okay. Which, what does that mean? It means you need to work with women. You need to work with the divine feminine. Cancer is the mother in astrology. You need to work with women on their psychology. You need to nurture your people. You need to be very aware of your femininity and how it attracts people towards you. When you have North Node in Cancer, you attract a lot of people who have mother wounds because Cancer is the mother. So you will find people who need your love wow. more than you need theirs. And the way you want to use this in your purpose is you gotta have boundaries. You gotta have really good boundaries to help people because if you don't, you're gonna end up mothering man babies, uh, your mom, you're gonna end up mothering your friends, you're gonna end up mothering people that should be helping you and holding you and supporting you. So you gotta get really clear on how do you wanna show up for women by showing up for the woman that you are. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> 100%. That was a great question. All right. I'm going to pick, um, we got five minutes. I'm going to pick um, Trish. Hey, I knew you was going to pick me. <laughs> Ooh, you a lucky one. Oh God. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> um, okay. So it's kind of like a question, but okay, so it tell me, yeah, I know, but I know you want to get me. Um, so lately I've been, well, let's just say I got Scorpio all over six placements, but the most recent thing, like for a month, and I have not acted on it, is that I will to do a 30 day transformation from mind, body, spirit, spiritual, like all levels of all aspects of myself. So my ninth, my sixth house is actually in. Leo. So that's what I'm really supposed to have been doing, right? What are you supposed to be doing? Oh, the 30, like I was supposed to, I've been told myself to do a 30 day transformation and I was going to do it on YouTube and I was going to track it along on the other, my other social sites. And I haven't done it yet. But now that I've taken this class, it's like it's confirmation, like, um, then I've been telling you to do this. So one thing I want to say um 30-day transformation showing what 
like of all aspects, like spiritually, emotionally, like the foundation, because it's actually the, oh, the previous young lady when we spoke of just like, what is your North note? Well, mine's is in Taurus. So, okay. so let me, let yeah. me talk, let me talk, let me talk. Um, I like the idea. I also don't like the idea. Okay. Let me, let me tell you why. Why is, how is this going? Why would I watch it? Why would you watch it? Why would anyone watch it? I need you to think about that. If you're gonna transform in front of people, why? What's the goal? This is why I have these group coachings because if you're doing a, if you're doing a transformation, if you're doing a transformation for what? It, it's for you, but how does this serve other people? Because if you don't have people that you're helping, remember what I said earlier, if you want to mm -hmm. make more money, if you want to have influence, if you want to serve people, the world's going to give you more stuff. But if you're doing a transformation and recording it and posting it on YouTube, what are you going to do? Promote and say, hey, I'm transforming. Everyone come watch. Okay, so that's Hold the on. thing. One I second. do. Oh. One second, one second. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> What I would suggest, the reason why I don't like it is that reason. What I would suggest is you invite people to transform with you. You invite people to do this journey with you because now there is engagement. This is one of the things that a lot of people, when they hop on social media, they don't consider this part. You gotta think about who's watching. When I make my videos, I have to make astrology simple. Why? Because I know who's watching. Why? Because I'm listening and I'm looking at what y'all are saying. I study what y'all say before I post. So if you're doing a transformation, you need to know why you're giving this to your people. Because when you give, when you serve people, you got to be clear on how you're helping them. Otherwise, no one's going to watch. It's not that they don't want to. It's that it's not helping them. Do you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So we want to create, we want to create that pull. Now, that's something I'd love to sit down with you and really create because a transformation is very good and deeply personal. If you can bring people with you, build an audience and a community around that, now you're going to be changing people's lives through your transformation. Do you see how that's more impactful? Oh, absolutely. That's actually, I didn't, um, before I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's where I was going at with it, that yeah. I am going to invite, invite others because actually this Sunday, well, I do spiritual healing. I just got emerged for a Tantra Shaman apprenticeship. So I do do coaching with people. So yeah. And my main thing is they ask me like, how do you sustain with your joy and things like that? So I wanna show them how I do those things day to day, how I sustain joy, how I have a sh shadow work workshop on Sunday and it's free. So it's like, I wanna welcome you into my world to let you know that it is possible. Yes, that I support, I support. I would love to be involved if you will have me. I would love to see that. <laughs> Come to absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, baby. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see that come into fruition. That sounds amazing. Absolutely. And okay, I'm, well, I'll keep, uh -huh. I'm sorry. I was going to say, well, no, no, say less. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. I'm excited for you. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing to do. Thank you. 100%. Awesome. All right, we have. Uh, we just got over time. I'm going to, I promise y'all one more. So I'm going to take one more. Um, everyone else, thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate you. Zenora, what's popping? Hello, what's up? Yo, what's goody? Hey, um, I just had a question just because I, I was so excited that you were having a class. I didn't care if it was Leo, whatever. But now I realize I only have one Leo in my chart and it says true node. I'm not sure if that's the same it as is. North node. Oh, okay. So true I just north. don't know what that means. 
Well, I want to invite you also, if you don't know your placements, please, I have made videos on TikTok on everything we're talking about, okay? Everything that we're talking about, I want to, before I, before I answer this, I want to show you TikTok. This person pushed, pushed you away and they pushed you away. No, they didn't. Leave me alone. Um, <laughs> when you go to TikTok on your phone, you can type in sunny, MF, money, north, node, mm. Leo. There, you will find videos that I have yes. created for you on North Node Leo. Here it is. Leo North Node wants to be known for having his puns. I made this video a while ago. Love um, it. I Everything that y'all are asking me, I promise you I made a video on it. I promise you. If you don't know what it means, please go look. I promise you I made a video on it. Teaching you how to use it is something I can teach you in person. So I'm so glad you brought this question. Leo North Node is the zodiac sign that is truly the entertainer. Why? North Node's purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Your biggest struggle is that your friends and your lovers sometimes fall into the same category. Mm. I didn't mean to expose you like that, but that's something. I've read enough people to know that. I've heard that story enough times. This year alone, I've probably read like 60 North Node Leos. How do you use that energy? Because you're very, you have a South Node in Aquarius. Friendship is so valuable to you. That's why love and friendship gets confusing. Mm. What you should do, if you really want to maximize this energy, it sounds kind of different, but you should raise funds for something you believe in. Fundraising, throwing gatherings where people can contribute to something bigger than one person is gonna help you balance out that North Node energy. When you start raising funds for everyone but yourself, guess what? The universe is gonna say, you know what? You're taking care of everyone, let me take care of you. When you, when you fight and work for your community, like a Leo, and on the back end is that South Node, remember? South Node, if you don't know, is your gifts. North Node is your purpose, the thing that you're heading towards. But on the back end, you're, you're an Aquarius. You're very skilled and gifted. You have these really good skills for talking to people, right? Yes, I love that. I'm, I'm a musician, so I've that definitely cleared a lot of doors for me and my business partner like my best friend literally uh we do music together so all yeah. three of us all of us we need to do stuff like that so that definitely opened my mind with my purpose and my passion and what I need to do to use my gifts to actually put it to use how I wanted to do like I believe music is a frequency and like we all need it to like heal ourselves so definitely definitely answered my main question that I was eager to learn all this time yes so what you want to do is fundraise. If there's three of you, mm -hmm. you're the one who brings in the money. Wow, you, I love that. You're the one who invites people to, you're the one who should be selling the t-shirts. You're the one who should be raising funds so you can go on tour. You're the one who should be finding other producers in other states and shit so, so you all can get yep. together and work. That's so funny because I'm the person who just went to New York for us and did literally because I guess I'm a Gemini uh, rising. So I'm literally the talky person of the three of us. <laughs> so, yeah. yes, I needed that. Thank you. Exactly. I appreciate that deeply. 100 percent. You're doing most of you are doing your purpose. You just got to be super aware that you're doing your purpose. Yes. That's what's going to take it to the next level. I'm so excited for all of you. Um, I'm going to take one more and then uh, we're, we're going to bounce. I'm going to show you too. Some of you wanted to sign up for the group class. The group class is going to be this weekend. I'm going to pour my heart, soul, and life into this class and teach you how to grow on social media. And we're going to do it in two hours. Um, it's going to be very great. I'm going to love it. And I feel like a lot of you are going to love it as well. Okay. Um, Let's take one more question from 
Zenora. It's still me. You got to choose somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, bad. my bad. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's do. Uh, my favorite, Jana. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm going to pick someone else because I know Jana. So this doesn't <laughs> No, I just had a quick, quick question. Um, uh, can you give me the times of the Kazemi again? Uh, I, you did it in uh, Eastern time, and I'm in Central, so I'm just writing them down for tomorrow. If I could just take off for the work. Sure, sure. One fifty-five. We got a one fifty-five um, p.m. Uh, EDT to CST would be twelve fifty-five p.m. Okay. So at noon 55, that's the middle point. So I would start at 1225 CST, start writing down your 10 and light your candles, run your bath, whatever you wanna do. Um, there's so many layers to manifesting, but understanding the real simple part is so much, it's so effective. Um, that was a great question. Thank you so much. It was nice talking to you yesterday. And you said, and you said there was an end time, 12, uh, 12, uh, 25, 12, 55, but wasn't there another one? Or it was 30, minutes, 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after. Okay, I'm just writing it down. All right, thank you so much. This is awesome, by the way. You're super welcome. This class is one of my favorites so far that I've ever taught. Um, Rowena, what's up? Hello. Um, I'm really good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here. Of course. Thank you for hosting this. This is like probably one of my favorite like webinars I've been in and I've been in a few. Oh, so, so dope. yeah. Um, so I actually had a question about how to potentially use like if you have like Mars in Leo, like how can I utilize my planet also in manifesting? I'm not sure if that's a thing or if I should just focus on the house, but like I was okay. just curious. So how many of you um have any of you seen the book how many of you've seen the book i made a book um manifesting with planets is a thing i accidentally found it in a very old book a few weeks ago no i'm i'm lying i wish it was weeks ago i found <laughs> um manifesting with astrology i started with there's a book I have called uh, Money Rituals. The first planet I ever manifested with was Jupiter because it's the planet of luck. When you want to manifest with the planet, this is such a high level question and this is going to spark so many other questions, I'm sure. Mars is a great one to work with. I actually have the Mars symbol on my head tattooed because I wanted to really channel my masculine, my action. When you manifest with Mars, what you're saying is, I want to take more action. What you're saying is, when you manifest, you, you will write down, I will take more action. If you use the law of assumption, I took more action 2022, and it led me into 2023 having X, Y, Z. Am I being clear so far? Yeah. Yeah, super clear. When you, Thank when you. you. When you work with Mars, Mars is the planet of war also Ooh. oh i love you gotta, it you got to be a little <laughs> careful right you got to be a little careful with mars because mars is a fucking spicy planet so when you're working with mars i recommend approaching mars from the warrior standpoint because war and peace and then there's the warrior who's on the battlefield mm -hmm. right so how do you become a warrior for change a warrior for peace, a warrior for transformation, a warrior for development, a warrior for breaking generational curses. How do you become that warrior? That's what you want to focus on manifesting when you're working with Mars. Okay. Yeah, that was super helpful and like kind of ironically and spook kind of spooky <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> considering I'm so what psychic. I'm trying to manifest. I'm a 12th house Pisces sun. I'm so psychic. It's weird. 
<laughs> <laughs> so tell me what tell me what just happened because I don't know. <laughs> um, um, so a lot of what I'm manifesting right now, like I'd like to have like a hundred thousand followers. I'm currently a coach for women, but more specifically women in sex work. Mm. Um, I'm trying to create more resources for these women who are often like super just like dismissed and like forgotten and just unrepresented and so I've kind of like adopted this kind of response not super responsibility but I, I'm initiating kind of like a revolution for us <laughs> so That's beautiful. I feel very warrior like yeah and yeah. you can be a soft warrior you can be a strong warrior and you can go in between Mm -hmm. allow yourself to become what you need to become working with a planet is great you can also work with venus and get great results i recommend it even i have venus on the left side of my head because of that reason um i highly highly recommend studying the planets and trying them all out pluto is one of my favorites if you really want to fuck shit up <laughs> use pluto <laughs> Use Pluto. Okay. If you're going through really bad times, use Pluto. Don't do it when you're going through great times. Use Pluto okay. when you're going through really bad times and you'll see a whole thing just flip. It's crazy. Uh, that was a really great question. I did want to show y'all, I do have a book that I finished for you. It's called Manifesting with Astrology, the Astrological Bible is the goal. This is version two. Um, I know a lot of you purchased version one. I made version two bigger and better, and it's the same price. It's $11. You can buy this book and you will know how to manifest. Um, this is only four pages. Um, I could show you the whole thing, but that defeats the purpose. <laughs> I go through all the planets. I go through the houses. I go through the modalities. I go through North Node. I go through um your sixth house your second house which are your money houses and it's very powerful it's a very powerful book i hope you download it and use it a lot of what's in there it's going to take you some critical thinking but i did i did break down exactly how you want to use it and how it should, how it can benefit you how many of you purchased the book i know some of you have bought it already version 1 i believe if you bought version 1 you can go into your Snipbeat account and download it again, and you'll get this new copy. If you can't, just shoot me an email and I will send you the updated copy. It includes the first version, but it, like I said, it's longer. I give you more and it looks better. Thank you. 100%. I appreciate you showing up for yourself. Now we've gone 15 minutes over. I was told I need to stop doing that. So I do have to go. Um, I did drop the group coaching. The group coaching is going to be this weekend. I know a lot of you get paid this weekend. This is a great thing to invest in. Um, the links in the bio you have until this weekend to sign up. I'm so excited to teach y'all how to hit your first 10K, whether that's money or with your following. Um, those of you who want more long-term, you need that more one-on-one -on -one catering. You need that more one-on-one -on -one attention. That is something you can shoot me an email on. I'm going to be posting it on my website as well. Um, all of you should be pretty familiar with my website, but if you're not, it is sunnymfmoney.com. I do update this regularly. So anytime I change anything, this is a really great spot, but the class is right here right next to the Aquarius full moon class. All right, it's 197.77. We're gonna be talking about how to grow your social platform. It's gonna be a two hour intense class. It will be recorded. I will be sharing it to everyone so that you have it. I wanna see you succeed. This is the best deal you're gonna get on someone helping you with social media, straight up. If you wanna grow seriously, on platforms, this is the best deal. Last year, I paid a man $500 just to help me audit my account, okay? You're spending less than half of that to get my two hours and we're gonna go deep. I wanna show you exactly what I did to go from 2,000 followers to my first 40K and my first 200,000.
and my first 400,000. So powerful when you have people that rock with you because of you. How many of you want that? How many of you are going to get signed up? Because I'm super excited to work with you. I'm super excited to take you on this journey. To those of you who know what's going on, I'm excited to work with you. All right. I want more students that have success stories. That's what I'm chasing. I'm chasing success with my students because that proves that what I'm teaching works. And I've already shown you it working with other people. So I'm hella excited to take it to the next level. I love all of you so much. I pray that you do everything that we talked about. If you have questions, shoot me a message. Um, love, peace, gratitude. I'll see y'all soon. I have to go and take care of myself. Love you. Bye.